हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द कंपनी लिक्विडेशन टॉपिक कंपनी लिक्विडेशन आई रिपीट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ दैट लिक्विडेशन इज प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग ऑल द पेमेंट्स ऑफ द लाइबिलिटीज ऑल द डेट्स ऑफ द कंपनी सेलिंग ऑल द एसेट्स ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड टेकिंग द रिमेनिंग फंड्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग देम टू द शेयर होल्डर्स वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू बी केप्ट इन माइंड while preparing the liquidators financial statement of the company of account liquidators has to prepare the final accounts where the company has to sell out all the assets he has to record all the assets which he has to sell out and make the payments of the debts these points need to be memorized as the sequence has to be maintained for the important thing with this liquidators final statement that he has to maintain the sequence of that the word to and by not to be used as it is a statement not an account liquidators remuneration is normally a fixed amount paid to the liquidator or it is paid as the percentage on assets realized by the liquidator or the amount paid to the unsecured creditors liquidators remuneration calculation method to be applied where the remuneration is paid on the assets realized first condition exclude cash as it is a realized form if the problem has instruction of including then include with the assets realized second no remuneration should be paid to liquidator on calls in arrears or call money realized surplus received from the secured creditor must be considered in calculating liquidator's remuneration fourth if the problem states that remuneration to be paid as a percentage on the total assets realized in such a case total receipts need to be considered these are the important points because it is a statement where the liqu- and liquidation process is done by the liquidator it can be a person individual person or the group of the person but when the company has to make the payment or make the remuneration for this task the calculation of remuneration will be done by considering these these points where the remuneration is paid on the payment made or the following points to be, need to be dis, uh, considered as as for calculating remuneration on payment made to unsecured creditor preferential creditors must be considered as the part of the unsecured creditors unsecured if i'll talk about the unsecured creditors unsecured creditors are equity shares and preferred shareholders and uh, secured creditors all the debts debentures bonds of the companies banks bank loan creditors suppliers of the companies the company has to make the payment anyhow then by selling of the assets so liquidator what he has to do he has to sell uh, he has to sell all the assets of the company first he'll make the payment to the secured debentures or first he has to make the payment to the secured liabilities like bank debentures bonds he has to make the payment to them then he will pay remaining amount he will distribute the remaining amount with the unsecured creditors unsecured creditors means preferred shareholders equity shareholders or actually they are the owner of the company but when the remaining amount with the company company a liquidator has to distribute some amount with them also if the amount is balanced if the, there is no amount there is no need to make the payment if the amount is balanced with the company the comp- uh, he has to pay to the shareholders also but how the remuneration can be calculated it is important again because uh, liquidator will take the payment before the unsecured creditors so there unsecured creditors will be if the liquidators remuneration on payment to unsecured creditors the formula will be, uh, for that because of some technical issue it is not shown but i'll let you know amount available for unsecured creditors multiply by 1.5 divided by 100 this is the formula for calculating the liquidators remuneration these are the important points while uh, which is um, uh, important for preparing the liquidators final accounts and calculating the liquidators remuneration statement so these points should be considered while calculating the 
liquidators remuneration preparing the fi final statement of liquidation thank you so much in next video i'll talk about the statement a statement which is prepared how it is prepared and uh, what is the sequence of that and important points are covered in that thank you